So this is topic 8.1, um, energy problem. We're looking at the energy consumption in a household. Uh, in this problem, we are taking data from uh, a house, probably on, on a cold weather country, where heating seems to be the biggest uh, energy requirement for the house. Um, what we have here is the unit of energy as in kilowatt hour. It's a unit of energy, not a unit of power. It's a big unit of energy. It is 1,000 joules per second for an hour. So you multiply 1,000 joules uh, by the amount of seconds in an hour and you get 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. It's a big unit of energy. So we have seen the electron volt as a small unit of energy. Now we're looking at the kilowatt hour as a very big unit of energy and joules, which is the standard international unit of energy. So for this problem, the first, the first problem is the total annual energy consumptions. All we have to do is add these numbers, 12,000, 3,000, 1,200, 1,200, 1,000, 1,600, and when we add up all this, we get 20,000 kilowatt hour. Now, suppose that we want to know the energy consumption in joules. So we have to multiply this by 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules per kilowatt hour. So this and this cancels, and the result is, for the first question, the result is, 72 times 10 to the 9, that means giga joules. All right, so that's the first problem, easy problem. Second problem, let's use another color. Second problem, uh, what is the average power? Now, the average power is the average energy over the time in seconds. Now, we have 72 gigajoules every year, but we don't want the time in years. We don't want one year, we want it in seconds. So we have to say, okay, 365 days per year. We don't want it in days, we want it in seconds. So 24 hours per day, we don't want it in hours. 60 minutes per hour, 60 seconds per minute. So all this goes away and when we divide 72 times 10 to the 9 by all these numbers we get the result of uh, 2300 joules per second which is watts or in other words 2.3 kilowatt that means a house on average is consuming 2,300 joules per second. That means 2,000 joules is more or less the amount of energy that one match burns. So one house is burning one match every second for a whole year, day and night. It's interesting, big number. Okay, once we have the energy and the power, we could do something else. Question number three. What happens if we use different fuels to power that house? For instance, what happens if we use coal or if we use um, petrol or if we use wood or uranium? So what mass and what height? So I'm gonna calculate the mass, first the mass for coal. So coal. We have this amount of energy and we know that this is the concept of specific, specific means per unit mass, right? So the concept of specific energy for coal is 10 to the 7. So that means that one kilogram of coal provides 10 to the 7 joules of energy. So if we divide this by this, we get uh, 7,072 times 10, so 72 hundreds uh, kilograms. That's the mass. 
7200 kilograms. Now wood has the same specific energy, so wood will have also 72,000 kilograms. What happens with uranium? Let's see, uranium, let's erase this. Uranium is the same, 72 times 10 to the 9 joules divided by 10 to the 14. So this will give me 72 times 10 to the minus, uh, 9 minus 14 is minus 5 kilogram. That's very, very little amount of uranium, right? Mm. Seven, seven point two times, or oh, seventy-two. Let's let's write it like that. Seventy-two times. Ten to the minus five kilograms. That in terms of mass. Now suppose that you want to make a pile of wood. A pile of wood, or a pile of coal, or a pile of uranium, and these are the heights that you need right so this is let me let me put this again for these two we have 70 that's seven tons and this is 10 to the minus what was it uh, five kilograms right now what happens with the height? Let's look at the height. Height. So we need to use, instead of energy, specific energy, we need to use the concept of energy density. That means the amount of energy that is liberated in every cubic meter per unit volume, right? So we have 7, 2 times 10 to the... Um, 9 joules divided by 10 to the 10 this is for coal 10 to the 10 joules per cubic meter right so this gives us a total of the joules and the joules cancel it's 72 times 10 to the minus 1 so it's 7.2 cubic meters right of coal 7.2 cubic meters of coal, but they want to know the height, so we have to divide by the area. 1.2 times 1.2 square meters, so the result is going to be in meters. And this is going to be 72 divided by 1.2 divided by 1.2, 7.2 is 5 meters tall. Coal is 5 meters. Now, so this is 5 meters. What happens if we do the same thing for wood? For wood, it is exactly the same process, but we divide by the energy density of wood, which is 10 to the 9. So this is 10 to the 9 joules per cubic meter, June, June, June. It's 72 cubic meters divided by the area 1.2 times 1.2 square meters this gives us 50 10 times more high 50 meters so if we do it with wood we have 50 meters and with uranium let's do with uranium uh, same idea 72 times 10 to the 9 divided by, look at this, the energy density, <laughs> 10 to the 18. Look at the order of magnitude, it's eight zeros. That means 100 million, 100,000 times less, right? The uranium. So there is 10 to the 18. to the 18, this is joules, joules per cubic meter. So the joules cancel, and this is, let me erase this, 
this is equal to 72 times 10 to the 9 minus 18 is minus 9 divided by 1.2 times 1.2 okay whatever this is this is 50 times 10 to the minus 1 minus 9 this is invisible the height or let's say 5 times 10 to the minus 8 meters the height of a pile of uranium is almost inexistent invisible now it is not um, it is not exactly true that we need that kind of uranium because you must uh, process uranium, right? Mainly, you need to enrich uranium to 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 use it as a as a fuel. So maybe um, I think it's around three percent of of one cubic meter. One cubic meter of uranium gives three percent of 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 actual fuel of enriched uranium. So probably, in reality. It is not so so small. It would be probably um, uh, in the order of 10 to the minus 2 meters. So more or less the thickness of a hair. I mean, like something as tall as this. That's probably the, the height of the pile is something like this compared to 50 meters and 5 meters. This is just to um, use these concepts of energy density uh, and energy. So this was just an example to, to see um, how we play with these concepts of energy density and energy specific energy, right? So this is all the same, same problem. Okay, now 